Hey guys, my YouTube analytics show that about 97% of you aren't subscribed. So if you enjoy what I'm doing here and you like my reviews, you like the products I review and stuff like that, please uh, consider subscribing. It really helps me out and it boosts my confidence to keep going on this YouTube thing. Hey guys, so this is going to be my final review on the HC Man mouse pad. Uh, this is going to be my final last forever review um, on this H this HC Man mouse pad. Now, I have made the decision to return it. Now, I have a reason to make this decision other than I didn't like it. Uh, number one, it didn't come in time, which honestly with all this going on, it's not surprising that it didn't come in time. But um, there are just certain aspects about it that I don't really like. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys the aspects I don't really like after using it for a little bit. So, after, let me turn the lights off. So, you can see these little bristles that hold the light on, which is fine. For the average person, it's probably not going to bother too much. But for me, I, I rub across it because I'm, I'm not, I use a decently high sensitivity, but not too high. So, it leaves little marks and it's just after having it there for uh, probably a while it probably takes probably about 10 nah it's, I'd say it takes about an hour to actually hurt you so it's not bad and it's just a me thing because my wrists are really like really weird um, but that could just be a me a, like a me thing um, the colors on it are nice there's one thing I don't like about the color this is the one thing I don't like about the colors, as you'll notice as it goes around the spectrum of the rainbow here. Um, it's not very smooth, and you can easily see that it's just like swapping colors. I don't like that, so um, there's another reason I'm sending it back. But the next reason is uh, I'm getting a larger desk, so... I'm gonna be able to fit something more like uh, along the lines of uh, this now, uh, like one of these big mouse pads. This isn't my new desk, so obviously it's not, you know, there. But uh, for the price of this one right here, you could pick one of these up for an extra five bucks. And honestly, that's where that's where it got me because uh, that I didn't like that too much. I didn't like that. I felt I feel like I got scammed to be honest. Um, now there will be a review coming up on this one soon, but as I was saying about the non-smooth lights, let me switch this one to it real quick. Okay, so you can see those aren't very smooth. This one has, I actually haven't explored the lighting modes on this one because it just came here, but as you can see, this one has a lot more smooth of a transition and my light is kind of not showing how bright this thing truly is like this thing's bright this I mean it's not brighter than my keyboard but it's bright um it looks super good and the, the transition is so much more smooth than that one now if you don't really care to you don't have a preference on that then you know with all means go buy that one I want this one this one's great um but uh, this one has a smoother lighting pattern, um, and it's bigger, so I kind of just went for what I can really get for my money. So I guess that kind of wraps up this uh, mouse pad. We're going to be sending it back um, soon, but uh, don't don't hate HC Man. Um, honestly, when when and if this one gives out, I might try their extended mouse pad. And then again, I might just go buy Razer's extended mouse pad. Um, but uh, yeah, don't uh, don't hate on this company. They're really good, just not to what I would my specifications. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Touching the truth. Thank you.